All right, Padres pregame thoughts. Padres and the Phillies game two of this series tonight at 540. We got Bogarts leading off, Tatis hitting second, Profar hitting third, Manny. He is not at third tonight. He's DHing, but that was the plan. If you saw Mike Schultz's comments yesterday, they're not just going to have him play third base every day right when Manny comes back. They're going to go like every other day, I think, and then they're going to transition into, okay, let's do two days at third and then a day off, and then three days at third and then a day off just to you know, ease him in there and not do it every day. So he's DHing. Kim at short. Camposano catching. Eggy is at third. Jackson Merrill, he is back in there. Good to see him back in there. He's in center. Azokar is in left. With no crony, I assume this is just a day off. I haven't seen any comments from Mike Schilt as of this recording on if it's something else. But that moves Profar over to first base, which I like. I'm totally fine with that if Jake's not in the lineup. And then Azokar, you believe in his defense in left. You're good with that. Merrill, the groin stuff, I'm fine. Look, with Jackson Merrill in the lineup yesterday, would the Padres have won that game? I don't think so. Like, Joe just needed to be better. And the game against Colorado, I mean, maybe you could make a difference there if Merrill was in the lineup over, I think, Azokar, right? But still, I mean... The Padres, they had a big lead in that game, and the bullpen just blew it, right? And Vasquez could have been better to start the game as well, so I don't want to put it all on the bullpen. But the bottom line is the Padres should have won that game, and yesterday they weren't going to win that game, even if Mero, I don't, even if he was in the lineup. So I'm not like, looking back at it, I'm not like pissed that Merrill wasn't in the lineup yesterday. It's a long season. I'd rather have Merrill healthy. We don't need him pulling something. We don't need him to aggravate that groin and so if the training staff is saying he is good now then he is good now and let's go uh you obviously want jackson merrill in there so that's good phillies their lineup i don't believe their lineup has been put out yet but ranger suarez on the mound for them a 136 era actually it has been put out a 136 era for suarez this year just like dylan cease he has been phenomenal and so this should be a great pitching matchup to watch. My underdog fantasy picks, I am not doing anything with any offensive player in this game because Cease and Suarez are on the mound. Um, we'll just see what happens. This would be great if the Padres could win this game because then that sets up, well, you have Michael King on the mound tomorrow, and who knows what the Phillies are going to get out of Taiwan Walker. He's just coming back. But to, to win the Robert, the, not the Robert, the Ranger Suarez game, my bad. The two Suarez is there to win the Ranger Suarez game and the Dylan Cease game. But like Suarez has been just out of this world good. So to win that, I think would give Padre fans confidence. Not that that matters, but obviously you want to win this game because you, you don't want to lose these consecutive, or you wouldn't be losing this series. It wouldn't be consecutive series losses, but series split. Felt like a series loss the way that series ended in Colorado. And then to lose here, and then you got a Reds team that has a winning record, having them come into town. And then you go, finally have an off day, go to Arizona, um, and they have playoff aspirations. So it's not like it gets super easy here. Um, and that's why it was like, man, they didn't take advantage really of that Colorado series. But we'll see what happens. I mean, this, this is going to be, I think, hopefully, a fun pitching matchup. Phillies lineup, Schwarber, Trey Turner, Bryce Harper, Alec Bohm, JT Romuto, Brandon Marsh, Nick Castellanos, Bryson Stott, and Whit Merrifield. Kind of almost forgot that Whit Merrifield was a Philly and that they have him in the outfield. But that was a, I think that was a quality signing by them um, on a, a cheap, I think it was a one-year deal. Maybe it was a one-year with an option. They've got names that you know. They've got talent. And I'm going to be interested to see those matchups. The Cease-Harper matchup. The Cease-Trey Turner matchup. How does Cease approach Kyle Schwarber right out of the gate? Obviously, Schwarber going deep. A lot of home runs yesterday. Um, I doubt that that's going to happen today with Cease on the mound. But who knows? It's baseball. Um, but yeah, pregame thoughts. Bullpen. So it's in a good spot. Suarez, he's had a couple days off. Matsui had the day off yesterday. Wandy, same thing with De Los Santos because there was no need for those four high leverage guys to be pitching when the Padres were down by that much. 
They're going to stay away from Cosgrove, Estrada, and probably Colette. Yeah, definitely Colette. Back-to-back days, um, him pitching. Last Colorado game, and then yesterday. And then they probably try to stay away from Brito, but Morajon, De Los Santos, Peralta, Matsui, Suarez, I think those guys are definitely available for tonight's game. But yeah, should be a fun one. Padres, Phillies, uh, my underdog fantasy pick. Dylan Cease, lower half first inning runs allowed. Same thing with Ranger Suarez. So I think it's going to be nothing, nothing through one. That's what I got there. And so yeah, enjoy the game, everyone. Those were my pregame thoughts.